Welcome to Conversation. My name is Brian Olo. Our guest today is Lauren Young. Hello, glad to be here. Now, Lauren, you are the editor-in-chief of the yearbook. Mm -hmm. um, this is Binghamton's yearbook. Um, and yearbooks are very important. They, they're basically memories. So, you know, what inspires you to do the yearbook? Um, well, I've always been involved in journalism in some way, whether or not um, it was in the newspaper or um, sort of like writing journals. So um, I always had experience with um, the newspaper, especially in high school, and I've written for Pike Beach too. So um, I want to try like a new platform, and I wanted to try a position that was higher up than what I was normally used to. And um, as soon as this, uh, as soon as I saw this position was hiring, mm -hmm. I definitely thought I was a good fit. And um, it's a very like individualistic role. You know, just taking looking at some of the pictures, um, it's very artistic um, in a sense that you really have to curate um, a mosaic. You know, mm -hmm. and um, it's sort of how do you decide which pictures get into the yearbook? Um, well, I had two really great photographers, um, Kevin and Stephanie, who helped me out mm -hmm. um, taking pictures around the. Uh, campus and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then um, in the beginning of the year, I send out some letters to like student organizations, sports clubs, and things like that to get pictures in. Um, so I want to have like a diversity of pictures being taken. I want like students, um, student pictures taken. I want like uh, professional pictures. I want, you know, different um, stylings of the university. I want to really like create an essence of Binghamton yearbook. And so uh, I think like a diversity is like a really huge part of it. Our main focus this year is diversity mm -hmm. and including more people. And I see here a lot of sports, um, is there anything in particular that you just love, any sections that you just love doing in particular? Um, well, especially this year, I'm really excited about like the bench section because, um, like I was talking about Kevin and Stephanie, they're new to the team. So um, they gave me like a lot of really great pictures to add to the yearbook this year. And um, so we have like fashion shows, we have um, culinary shows, we have, you know, different shows from all different clubs and mm -hmm. stuff. And I think it's like a really great way to showcase like what the students in the university are doing and like mm -hmm. what you can become involved with. Our school, as you know, is very diverse. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of people, a lot of international um, students, yeah. a lot of clubs. Um, also a lot of, um, I see here, you have a lot of comedians. Now, mm -hmm. I know you personally, you went to a, a comedy show um, last semester. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, who was the host again? John Mulaney. John Mulaney. John Mulaney, yeah. Is, is he gonna make the cut? Um, maybe, who knows? <laughs> Feature um, speakers that come to the university that really like um, kind of uh, embody what Binghamton's about, and I really like John Mulaney's stand up, and so um, okay. hopefully he'll be in the yearbook this year. Who yeah. Knows? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what is your major, and uh, wh what do you do here at Binghamton? Um, I'm a philosophy, politics, and law major. Saying, how does your academic life um, influence sort of your, you know, your artistic one? You know, give you a certain perspective yeah. and a certain creative depth. So, how how has it influenced you? Um, I've always been really interested in reading and writing, and so it's always been a part of my life. And I think with um, my degree, it kind of, um, it gives me something else to talk about, I guess. You mm -hmm. know, um, when I was majoring English, I kind of only just read and wrote within the English major. I didn't feel like I was really, like, learning beyond. And so with my major, I get to write about my major while also encompassing, encompassing like, my mm -hmm. writing ability mm -hmm. instead. I really like my major because I get to talk about issues that I'm passionate about. Okay. I did read some of your columns in Pipe Dream. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you were a member of Pipe Dream for what year? Um, last year. Last year? And what sort of uh, stuff did you write about? Um, I was mostly, mostly um, I guess, like a, a political columnist. Mm -hmm. um, I, lo I tend to focus a lot of my issues on um, racial quality or feminism. Mm -hmm. um, social justice type issues, mm -hmm. um, okay. really anything that I think that comes up in the news that I want to talk about, because I think it's really important for people to be informed always, whether or not you are a fan of the news, because it, it affects mm -hmm. every one of us, whether or not you're in political politics. <laughs> Being that, you know, uh, BSU, uh, I know last year students were changed, mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of, even today, a lot of racial tension, since you do study and you do, what are some of your opinions and some of the solutions you think that Binghamton could do? Um, I mean, I think it's, uh, a lot of it is just really trying to understand where other people are coming from. I think people do a lot of um, talking, but not enough listening. I feel like, um, especially with that, I feel like maybe some people just, I don't know, I don't feel like a lot of people will hear from other people's point of view, and sometimes that can really muddy the waters between trying to decide, you know, how 
allowed to do with certain situations. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of our political views really like blind us in a sense between, you know, like, oh, these are real people and these mm -hmm. are not, like, they're not just a political issue. Like, these are lives that are being taken. They're not yeah. just, like, politics, you know? Yeah. So I think when people can put it to, like, more mm -hmm. emotional terms, personal terms, I mean, we're all people. So I think that's, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, I definitely agree. And again, you know, coming back to the yearbook, I think, you know, certain times we're stuck in the moment and um, we forget that Binghamton is a community. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, going through the yearbook, you see that you know we we are our lives are in a sense memories, and you know pictures capture that. And I think you did a good job of really you know seeing and really embodying Binghamton. Um, and I think you know even me in high school, when I look back, you sort of have memories. You mm -hmm, know, yeah. you're gonna have those days where somebody made you upset, but when you sort of <laughs> look back yeah. and you see what really matters, you know, education mm -hmm. experiences. Um, so is there a way that you, you can sort of um, promote your book or is there um, any changes you would like to get people more involved? Because I know it's a very isolating mm -hmm. process. Yeah, I do wish it was more of a, um, the campus was more involved with it. Um, and I think it would be really important for student organizations to commit more fully because they want other students, especially students who are buying the yearbook, mm -hmm. to see what other students are up to because it's always really important to, like I said, be informed and mm -hmm. see what other kids are doing. And it makes you see what you can possibly do for other kids. Yeah, that's very true. And I know um, art, photography being a medium, it's also a way of expression. I think sometimes, you know, you, you see rallies or you see people talking and it sort of just takes the energy out Definitely. of any conversation. Yeah. And I think something like yearbook, something that's very reflective, very artistic, um, can sort of say the things that need to be said in a different mm -hmm. way. So um, you are graduating uh, fall of 2016. Yes. So with your departure, um, what would the new editor-in-chief of your book, you know, look forward to? Or what could they expect from the job? Um, we really want someone who um, is diverse, has a lot of um, hobbies, I guess you could say. Um, we want someone who has already been, ex has already had experience with um, journalism, whether or not it's print journalism or um, graphic or you know online journalism, whatever. Um, whether or not it is yearbook, because I didn't have experience with it. I had like a newspaper background. So mm -hmm. really just matters of how deeply passionate you think you can be with this project, because mm -hmm. it is a year-round project, and it really does take a lot of time and dedication, but it is fun. Okay. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thank uh, you so much. Yeah, um, thank you for having a conversation with us. Bye.